Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the ultimate backpacking guide. Today in episode 5 we're going to be talking about the useful travel apps I feel that could be essential to you before you go travelling and whilst you're away. So app number 1 I recommend downloading before you go away would be Google Translate. Google Translate is really good because you can actually type in your language into any other language that you are asking for. So I could actually enter a text into Google Translate in my language and it will convert over to Spanish if I wanted it to, to Thai, to Vietnamese. Not only can you text it out, but you can also speak it in a conversation. So if you have that part of the app downloaded onto your phone, which I recommend, you can actually have a conversation with someone that stood right in front of you by speaking your question into the phone. It will type out what you've said. It will convert it straight over to that language and it will speak it out loud on your phone. So that person that you're asking, say if it was in Spanish, they will be able to hear what Google Translate has translated for you and then they can then respond. And you can actually have a full blown conversation which is actually amazing that we even have access to a tool like this. I actually did use this quite a few times when I was traveling. I used it in South America, I used it in Thailand, I used it in Bali, I used it in Vietnam and do you know what it's brilliant because when you do that to someone they're, they're so shocked they don't expect it you know so it's really cool and really recommended that you get Google Translate. Download it onto your phone, have a little play around and just see what you can do. So app number two is a currency converter. Now the one that I've got I actually do still keep on my phone. The currency converter is amazing because again it's a little bit like Google Translate, whatever countries that you're going to. So let's say I'm going to New Zealand. I literally just have to type in £30 and it will convert it into New Zealand dollars for me. And it will show me the currency and it always updates live. So you know that it's always the newest currency. I really recommend getting this. Even if it's just down to you booking a taxi and you're not sure whether you're getting ripped off or not, it's great to just like quickly type it into your phone and see how much it is in your currency and then think, okay, yeah, that's fair enough. Like I buy that. Even if you're bartering or if you're in a shop and there's something specific that you really like you're not really sure how to convert it because maybe it's in Vietnamese dong which is completely confusing to me anyway it's really good to just have that option to type it in Vietnamese dong and then it converts it into English pounds for you or American dollars or whatever your currency is so the third app that I want to speak about is a maps app so the two maps app that I used was the first one which was just Google Maps which everyone has on their phone anyway and the second one is maps me maps me I use so much more when I was in Asia than I did use Google Maps because with Maps Me you can actually use it offline. I would recommend before you arrive somewhere you just type it in Maps Me and then you can download that area of the map and you can literally just use it offline anywhere. You're better off doing that whilst you have Wi-Fi before you actually get there. So say if you know that you're going to be arriving somewhere late at night and you need to know where to go from that point, make sure you download it before you actually leave so that you know that you have it on your phone because I've done that before where I've downloaded it too late and it hasn't gone through to my phone so I've had to get there and figure out where I'm going so really recommend you do it before but yeah again like Google Maps you can actually download certain areas of Google Maps so that you can use that offline as well I never actually did that because I found that it actually took up a lot more of my storage than I wanted it to so Maps Me is a great option if you don't want to use Google Maps. So the fourth app that I'm going to mention is any kind of taxi service app. By this I mean Uber, Gojek, Grab, all of these apps are really good to download because they are the cheaper option for you to travel around. So Gojek and Grab, they are basically just like Uber but they are the Asian version. So if you're going to Thailand, Laos, Cambodia or Vietnam or Bali you can use these apps. Uber is great if you're in Australia or New Zealand. If you're go into a specific country and you want to know whether they have anything similar to this but there's no Uber or Gojek or Grab and just search it into Google and see if they've got any app for any kind of taxi service over there that will be the cheaper option for you because I always found that if I was booking a taxi in person they would always overcharge me and then if I looked on Gojek then the price of the taxi on the app was actually saying it was much cheaper than what they were actually offering me so I'd always say no this is saying this much and they would say ah oh, yeah yeah okay okay we'll take money off so yeah it's really useful to just have an option of booking a taxi or booking transport over your phone i used uber a hell of a lot when i was in australia and i used gojek and grab a hell of a lot when i was in asia as well so i really really recommend that the fifth app is any kind of hostel booking app i always use booking.com i know some people that used hostel world but there's many different options for booking hostels or just using the internet anyway but i used booking.com more than i used any other and you always end up getting a few little rewards with booking.com and I always found that the app was really easy to use as well so it was great to just have it by hand you are booking hostels constantly I never really turned up 
and booked I always did it over the app just as and when I really recommend downloading them onto your phone and also just to have a little look around as well you can have a little shop around and see what's around the area before you actually go there say if you had hostel world and booking.com it's great to have the two options because you can compare the prices and I always found that hostel world was a lot more expensive than booking.com but everyone's different everyone chooses their specific one that they prefer to use so yeah definitely down some down definitely download some of them so the sixth app is any kind of flying app so if you're going to be booking flights it's really useful to have some of those apps on your phone there's many different options for price comparison flight booking websites and apps I always used Skyscanner but there's many different options you've got Kayak you've got Momondo and there's many more as well but it's great to just have the options where you can compare again different because sometimes you'd book on Skyscanner the exact same flight on Momondo but it would be £30 cheaper on Momondo than it would be on Skyscanner so it's just great to actually have a few little options flying around but my favourite was definitely Skyscanner. So these last two apps that I'm going to speak about they're not essential but they are great to just have as an option and for all my vegans out there if you download the happy cow app and pay i think it's only about 4.99 for lifetime you can actually find vegan restaurants anywhere in the world i use this app constantly while i was traveling because i just didn't know where anything was and you could walk around for hours but to actually find specific vegan restaurants was really difficult so i used this so much when i was traveling and i love the fact that i can still have it on my phone and still use it in my home country because i can find nice little vegan spots and also if I find nice vegan spots myself I can actually add them to the app for other people to enjoy but I definitely recommend getting this $4.99 for an app that literally will show you vegan restaurants anywhere in the world is priceless to me I just think it is amazing you can actually look at the reviews you can look at the pictures that people have taken themselves honestly I recommend this so much for any vegan out there I would actually arrive in a new place and the first thing I would do was look on my happy cow app and search for a vegan restaurant close by and that would be the first place I'd go to because I'd always be starving as soon as I got to my first destination. So really recommend getting Happy Cow. And the last app that I'm going to speak about, which again isn't essential, but it is also quite useful to have and I'll explain why. And that is Shazam. Most of you probably have Shazam already, but the reason I'm speaking about Shazam, it's great because if you're in a bar somewhere in the south of Vietnam and a song comes on that you love and it's just a really special memory in that moment, it's great to Shazam that song. And what I ended up doing is creating a playlist of all the songs that I Shazammed whilst I was traveling so when I listen to that playlist it's actually really beautiful because it, I'm listening to all the songs and each song has a specific memory so I really just recommend that just for your own personal enjoyment really when you finish your trip or even just during your trip it always brings you back to that moment of when you should sound that song and why that was so special I recommend that massively because yeah I think that's a great idea. There is a few other apps that would be really good for you to grab, which I'm just going to quickly briefly mention, and that is Netflix. So when you're doing your long journeys, if you're on like a 12 hour bus journey and you don't have access to a TV, it's great to download Netflix because then you can download films to watch on the way. It's great to have podcasts because then you can download podcasts and listen to that when you're on long journeys. And also Spotify, if you have Spotify. They're all the apps that I recommend that you get for your travels. I really hope this helps. Make sure that you download these whilst you have Wi-Fi and before you go traveling just so that you're pre-prepared for your trip interact in the comment section down below if you have any other travel apps that you like to mention for any other backpackers out there that you think it would help thank you so much for watching my loves and i will see you in episode six bye guys